So coach, great to have you on set. Tell us just so far, I know you're still feeling out your team. You don't really know who you have and what they look like until they start playing. But what have you really liked about what you've seen from them in the off season? I think this team, uh, we have a little bit more size uh, than a season ago. Uh, we have a little bit more overall athleticism, team-wide. Um, the, the thing is, that's the big difference, is obviously the experience. Uh, you know, we graduated, graduated a lot of players, um, and, and so it's a younger group. Uh, so a, a little more teaching um, in terms of our systems. Um, a lot of reliance on our players that are returning. Um, obviously, Kennedy and, and Reagan, uh, that were both starters a year ago, um, have a little bit more on their plate. Their voices are more prominent in practice and in the huddles. And um, you know, we're going to rely on on some of our freshmen that, to have to play well. Um, it's not an impossible task. We, we see it every year um, in our league. There are freshmen that step up and play well, and, and we're going to need to have a couple of ours do that. You know, it's hard sometimes because you're expecting a freshman to play at the level that you have a transfer who came in with that experience. Freshmen coming in, sometimes the self-awareness of what they can and can't do is a little different than the upperclassmen who know more. And defensively, as I found, sometimes they struggle with that end of the floor. You're a defensive coach, second in the nation in defense. How hard is that teaching them the whole process that you have? Um, I think... I think more than anything, what, what we try to do is, um, like, there's, a, there's an expectation and a standard every day you know, when they walk in the gym of the level of effort, focus, and discipline that they have to come with. And that in itself is challenging for freshmen mm -hmm. um, because the level that those, those traits have to be at is higher in college. Um, so we start with working with that. Like, can they come every day and give the type of effort that's required to play the way we play? Um, and, and they've done a pretty good job, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and, and now, as we start to layer our defense, um, we'll see. You know, I don't know that we'll be able to be as complicated as we were a year ago. Um, we'll see. And so as we start those layers, we're, we're going to go a little bit at their pace in terms of what they can handle. I'd rather do a few things well mm -hmm. than try to do as much as we did a year ago, and none of it is good. So um, that, I, I can't tell yet, you know, um, how we're going to be able to play and how different we're going to be able to, to scheme um, with a younger group. Um, but, th but they're smart and um, they're eager and super coachable. And that, that's what you want in a young player. They go to Duke. They're going to be smart. Yeah. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> yeah. We know yeah. that, Coach. What about Taina Mayer? I mean, she was a player last year yes. just distributing the ball at such a high level, nearly seven assists per game. You bring her in here at Duke. Um, how have you enjoyed working with her, and what do you expect from her this season? She's, she's uh, eager um, and obviously uh, different systems. Mm -hmm. So um, in some ways, she's like a freshman in terms of learning, th learning things. Um, but at the same time, um, I, feel, I feel pretty good that she's been through the league once. Mm -hmm. um, so she understands when we're talking about things and she's faced the different opponents that we've had and um, ha had, a, had a lot of, ha carried a heavy load last year mm -hmm. um, as a freshman. So um, we're getting there, you know. I mean, point guards are, are important and certainly having played the position and I mean, it's, it's I know I wouldn't say it's easy to play for me yeah. as a point guard. Yeah. So. Um, we're getting there, and I'm constantly challenging her. Just to have different, like, different layers, you know? Like, you're calling a play, and, and you bring it up, and there's a better side to run it to than the other, yeah. right? And, and, and why is that? And in what play, why is that? And being able to now process that instantly with pressure, yeah. right? With someone guarding you. And then someone's in the wrong place, and then being able to get them there. So the, that, that position is, is so much more complicated than people realize. And um, so we're working through that, you know, and, and trying to, to see, again, it's, it's just like the freshman in the layers of defense, like how much is sticking? Like how much, how much can she, what, what can she do? What can she get to? And um, she'll have the ball in her hands. Um, she, she sees the floor very well. She makes reads very well. Um, so she'll be a welcome addition to our offense. What was it about her game? Because there's a lot of players in the transfer portal, and I know you want the right players and the right fit. What was it about her that you liked the most when, when you knew she was available? That she sees it. It's hard to find, yeah. you know, um, they, there's not a lot of them that see it. And, um, you know, even, you know, playing in, in the pros, not everyone sees the floor, um, anticipates, is instinctive, uh, can make reads. And, and you know, to, to be able to have a player that, that can do that is, is valuable for us at the point guard position.
Okay. With Jaden Donovan, how special is she, like, to your program, but just her as a person as a, and as a player? How special is she? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wanted Jaden Donovan for, like, three years. <laughs> it's long, took a lot, took a lot uh, to get her um, because of what you said. She, she's special. Um, wonderful young person, great family, um, great student. Um, fits fits our culture and fits our community really well. Um, unbelievable athlete, <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. And so um, she has great instincts. She's another player that sees the floor really well. Um, and so um, her playmaking ability has has stood out from day one. Um, she can get into the lane and, and find people. Um, she's a terrific finisher around the rim. I didn't think we were a great finishing team around the rim last year, to be honest with you. I'm hopeful she'll she'll aid in that cause. Um, but she, she can finish left hand, right hand, and then um, certainly the potential is there to be uh, an all-conference defender mm. um, in terms of the versatility. I, I think she can guard one through four really, really well. Um, will be able to guard one through four really, really well. <laughs> Let me say that. Uh, we're working. Yeah. And, um, but she has the athleticism and the mind. To, to be able to do that. So um, we'll try to get her there as quickly as we can. Yeah, it seems like she could be a shot blocker depending on who she's guarding. Oh, yeah. She likes yeah. that. So yeah. would you say she's going to help you defensively more so than offensively initially? I don't know. It's pretty even. To, I mean, she play makes. Um, is, is she a point guard? Um, we're not using her a ton there. Um, but she's she creates as many scoring opportunities as, as any player on our team mm -hmm. right now in practice, um, quality scoring opportunities. So um, I think it'll be pretty equal in terms of her impact on, on the floor. We're excited to see her for sure, Coach. And I want to bring up, you have your sisterhood patch on. Jason Tatum came in, spoke to the team. I saw the video on social media. I think it was Reagan Richardson who said, I'm surprised I didn't cry. She was that <laughs> excited. So how did you, yeah. I, I know how you set that up. You know Jason <laughs> from the Celtics, of course. Yeah. But how cool was that for you to set that up for your team? I mean, listen, <laughs> I, had, I had to do it not around practice. Okay. Because I don't think we'd have been able to practice. <laughs> they were too excited. <laughs> if I did it before practice, I don't think we would have been able to. Certainly would have had a good practice right, because right. they wouldn't have been able to focus. So we did it later in the afternoon after we had already practiced because, uh, listen, um, anytime you get a chance to bring one of the, the best players in the world, um, in, into your locker room and, and have your players uh, interact with them. Look at their be faces. able to ask them questions. <laughs> they're losing it. Yeah, well, you know, Taina Mary was losing it. Yeah, you know, so Taina and, and Alucci are from Boston. Yeah. So they grew up Celtics yeah. fans. Um, you know, Reagan couldn't speak or breathe. <laughs> and there she, yeah, I mean, they're just, yeah. So, oh so it was, it was great, and you know, obviously having Coach JT and and um, T had a jersey, you know, I saw having 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 coached him, um, you know, and I, I talked with our team about it. Um, like any player that has gotten to the level that he's at, it's not a surprise and it's not a secret. Mm. Like there's things that you see that they do daily that you observe from them daily that allows them over time to get there. And you know, a lot of times players are wanting the quick fix or wanting some special conversation or some special drill or some special thing that's gonna make them great. And it's not that. And you know, having watched him, I'm so proud of him. You know, they get started tomorrow night and um, just, you know, rooting for them hard. And he, he, he just continually gets better. And it's because of his daily work habits. It's because of the type of person he is, the type of teammate he is. And, you know, we're certainly really proud at Duke to, to call him one of our own and, and thankful for all the time that, that he gives our group. Such a cool experience for all your players. You could tell what it meant to them. And, Coach, we cannot wait to see you guys get it going on November 6th. You've got a great schedule. I'm looking at um, November 19th. You're going to give Stanford a nice, warm welcome to the ACC <laughs> before they get here, I'm sure. So can't wait to see what you guys are able to do this season. We appreciate the time today. Thank